Hey guys, this is Tony from YC Onion. My camera has great image quality, but every time I do a nice scene shooting, the image is either too noisy or underexposed. How I'm gonna do with that? These are questions I've been hearing a lot. Well, don't worry, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to shoot a nice scene video. To capture portrait videos of good quality at night, lens with larger aperture are recommended. For this video, we are using a Sony 50mm f1.8 prime lens. When we are in a dark environment, a larger aperture provides us with more amount of light. Hence, to get image at right exposure with less noises. On the other hand, large aperture means blurry foreground and background, highlighting the subject you are shooting. What's more, it makes point sources light to be artfully blurred. In this way, you'll get a dreamlike night scene. It should be noted that do not aim for the largest aperture to shoot your video, because image quality the largest aperture presents is usually not the best you can get. It's better we stop down the lens to a smaller aperture. When we are doing night scene shooting, we can't control the light at will to get a desired effect that's why we need to learn how to make good use of ambient light. First, use cast headlights. Headlights have high lumen and high directivity, which can be used as rhyme light. This shot, for example, the figure walking through the street while outlight being highlighted by headlights. Second, we can also use the large light boxes or shop window lights that can be seen everywhere on the street to illuminate the figures. Third, Use dim light to get nice silhouette when light conditions are not ideal. This requires the background to be colorful so as to create contrast for better visual effects. Taking the city night scene as background to leave people with enough space for imaginations. Fourth, use additional lighting. YC Onion Energy Tube seems to be a great choice for street shooting scenarios regarding its portable size. Last practical tip, Feel free to try slowest shutter speed to capture scenes of strong emotion. All right, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you find it useful and comment below to share a technique you use to shoot nice scene. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in next video.